scientists from IBM Research and from SICUS at the University of Santiago de Compostela in Spain have confirmed the existence of an elusive molecule which was first suggested 113 years ago. The universe is made up of trillions of molecules and some are so short-lived that scarce information is available. One such species is arine. The existence of arine was first suggested in 1902, with first conclusive experimental evidence reported in 1953. Since then, these transient molecules have been proposed as reactive intermediates in the synthesis of a large variety of products, from medicines to organic electronics or molecular materials. Professor Diego Peña, a chemist at SICUS at the University of Santiago de Compostela, explains the arines and why they are difficult to image. For decades, we chemists found experimental evidence on the existence of these short-lived molecules that we call arines. In fact, arine chemistry is discussed in almost every undergraduate course on organic chemistry around the world. Then you can imagine it's kind of relief to find the final confirmation that these molecules really exist. After successfully collaborating in 2014 to image nanographenes, Professor Peña and his colleagues connected again with IBM physicists in Zurich to image arines using scanning tunneling and atomic force microscopy. The result is a new paper appearing today in Nature Chemistry, which details how they successfully generated and imaged arine for the first time. IBM scientist Nico Pavlicek explains the technique. We have this precursor molecule, which is a hydrocarbon with two iodine atoms at its end. And the carbon-iodine bonds establish predetermined breaking points within the molecule that we can break with our microscope tip. And to stabilize the generated highly reactive arine molecules, we have to perform the experiments on an ultra-thin insulating film and the temperatures close to absolute zero. First, we position our microscope tip above the precursor molecule. Using the tunneling current between tip and molecule, we can excite vibrations, eventually cleaving the carbon-iodine bonds. Then we pick up the iodine atoms with a microscope tip and re-establish a sharp metallic tip afterwards. So finally, a single CO molecule is picked up to image the chemical structure of this arine using atomic force microscopy. The resulting images are so clear that we could study tiny details of the bond length within the molecule, which are a fingerprint of its highly reactive chemical nature. This can be compared with the long-standing search for the giant squid. For centuries, fishermen found traces of this animal, but it was only very recently that a group of scientists managed to film this giant squid alive. In both cases, state-of-the-art technologies were crucial. A low-noise submarine in the case of the giant squid and a low-temperature atomic form microscopy in the case of the arine. In future, the use of low-temperature scanning tunneling and atomic force microscopy to resolve and identify chemical structures could pave the way for new methods of on-surface chemistry. We want to employ these reactive intermediates like the arine to create new molecules from them on insulating surfaces and um, to this idea we want to use atomic manipulation that is the tip of the microscope to really fuse such molecules. And by that we want to create novel molecules or graphene nanoribbons with tailored geometries as junction switches functionalities for novel molecular electronic devices. In addition, it may be applicable for imaging other short-lived reaction intermediates which can open up thousands of new discoveries. This is Anne-Marie Cromack reporting from Zurich.